And I'm back. And what I got here today is got my uh, MS250. Now, the last time I was using this, it wasn't running very well. It was, uh, you know, kind of bogging down and stuff like that. So uh, it might need a tune up. It might actually need a new carburetor that I bought for it. I haven't put it in yet. I've just put some fresh gas in it and I haven't done anything else to it. I'm going to start it up and see how it runs. And uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. Oh, it's got good compression. I'll give you that. Okay. I think I'm just going to go ahead and change that carburetor. So I've got this one here, MS250 carburetor. Got it on Amazon. There's the part number there. It makes any difference. All right, what comes in this kit? Actually, there's a couple extra things I put in there. I had bought some crankshaft seals, if it was that bad, but I don't think I'm gonna get that deep into this today. So there's new seals if I do decide at some point to get that far. So here's this replacement carburetor. Okay. And I also have a new fuel pickup strainer. A new air filter assembly. And it comes with a couple of gaskets. It actually even has this the flexible piece between the cylinder and the carburetor. And it's got this line, a couple of gaskets, yeah. And a spark plug. Some no-name spark plug. H and H. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Okay, so these are eight millimeter. Let's take these out. Before I get any farther along, I'm gonna take a couple of pictures of that assembly with my smartphone. Because, like I say, a picture is worth a thousand words. You don't always want to have to back up the video. So let's take a picture of that. And that. And a picture there. And we got it. All right. Now let's try this. Okay, that's just the air filter assembly. All right. A lot of sawdust and stuff in here. I don't have any compressed air here today, but I'm gonna try and blow that out the best I can. Yeah, compressed air would be good. With this linkage here. Let's see here, what is that? There it is, pops out like that. Okay. Get this out of here. Put that aside. All right. Okay, so before we pull that out, we're gonna disconnect our lever right here. A little just pops out of there like that. 
Okay. And then push down that hose. Bring that out. Kind of snug in there. And out it comes. Out it comes. Simple as that. And we got a hose on here, and you see how that's turned around that way. So, okay, off that comes. That's your fuel pickup hose. And there's the carburetor. Okay, it's quite similar. Head that way. I can see the on the new one. These screws are closer together. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. I think I read somewhere where it said it didn't line up with the holes in the cover exactly. Uh, yeah, you can see this one's got a plastic fuel line in. That's got a copper one. And it's certainly a knockoff carburetor. Let's. It looks like it's probably got all the parts that'll make it work though. So let's try that. Okay, I'm gonna change that gasket back there. Pull that out. Plates coming with it. That's okay. We'll clean all that up. All right, I'm gonna clean all that. All right, you can see it's got a gasket on the face of it here. Okay, so there's a new gasket. I'm gonna scrape that off and put this one on there. Okay, get that gasket off of there. Okay, make sure we get it all. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Now, they do supply another line right here, but I don't think I'm into trying to get that out of the tank and changing that right now. Do you think I should? I think I should try and put that in the tank. It's going to be I think I'm going to save this for later. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try that now. For another day, let's just see if the carburetor change will bring this thing back to life. Okay, so we got that line on the carburetor there. That line under there. That's how it was. Now, before we get it all the way home. Gonna put our linkage in here. Throttle linkage. It goes in the hole right there. Right here it snaps down in that little slot right there. See it? Right there. There it is. Okay. There we got it finally. A little bit of wrestling. Got it snapped down in there and it's it's moving the the butterfly, see that? All right, and then we've got this. Yeah. We should clear the holes out on this, make sure it's free. It's a vent. Make sure those holes are, are free. Okay. Oh. Huh. How did it go on this one? Let's compare it. That one was farther away. See, this one, this one went over there, and that one went over there. See that? So that one allowed you to get to this screw, and this one to that screw. But now we don't have that on this new one. These are much closer together. 
So what I heard some people do was they just left this piece of rubber out. They just cut it off to make this particular carburetor fit. Now it's kind of a hack, and I mean hack job, but uh, I think it's going to be okay if I just snip that off. Okay, so off that comes. Just like so. One, two, three, four, and a thumb. One, two, three, four, and a thumb. Okay, I'm good. All right, we'll leave that off. Okay, so that's in there correctly now. I got it. This one, see? Let's do that again. Okay, so we're going to put this one over that screw, like so. And then the rest of that piece of rubber sits in that slot. And that hose comes this way. Okay, and I had this uh, this wire was disconnected. It just sits in the plastic here like that. And when you operate your kill switch, see, it makes uh, contact here. Comes up, and see, it makes contact, and that grounds it, and kills the coil. Stops the saw. And we've got another little lever over here we've got to hook up. Oh. Where is that? Okay. Okay. In she goes, okay. That's our choke lever, okay. Choke lever's working. And that should be a little smoother once the screws are on here. All right, very good. Let's put that air cleaner on there. And this one comes as, as an assembly, okay. So air cleaner and, a, and the base. And you look at the difference here. That one had quite a bit of sawdust going down into it. All right, so uh, was there a gasket there? No gasket on that one, and no gasket there for it. So okay, no gasket. Put that one on there like that. Just like that. Now to make sure that's working. too tight but I'll make sure it's nice and snug it's just plastic remember don't go too tight there yeah, I think that's good all right let's uh I guess we might as well try the spark plug that comes with it even though it looks a bit like a knockoff for sure that and the gap I don't know what the gap is supposed to be but that looks I don't know looks like 20 thou maybe give or take so it doesn't look too bad I think I'll just go with what's what that setting is for now it should work famous last words oh that should work okay let's put that in there okay on there all right all right and we know we've got fresh gas in it fresh mix about 60 to 1 50 to 60 to 1 I, I, I like to mix uh, I like to mix my gas rich sorry I'm the one I'm that one I'm the guy that likes it rich it's, they say uh, these saws 100 to 1 well I don't like mixing my stuff 100 to 1 50, 60, 70, whatever, in that ratio somewhere. Okay. All right. All right, let's give this a try. Now here's optimism. I'm hoping this is gonna make a noise. Promising. Oh. 
Sounds pretty good, eh? Try that again. Right out of the box. No adjustments at all right now. That's, I'm gonna try that the way it is after I sharpen it. That sounds good. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that at all. I'm going to give that a try the way it is. Put that back on. I'm going to try that one more time. I'm just, I'm quite impressed with that. Try it here, no choke. Okay, I'm going to call that a success. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.